previously on Bell Collective. Say hi to mom and dad. I am pregnant. Still can't believe it. That uterus is delicate. We've got to make sure you stay safe. I saw a interview that Latrice, she said that she wasn't friends with nobody on the show. Oh! Trees, you offended people. And I'm going out to do a job. I'm not going to sit up here and have a fit for Remy. You're not finna sit here and tear me down. And Latrice, that, you see how you say tear you down, but that's what you be doing to other people. Since I'm the f issue when it comes to everything, I'm going to just eliminate myself from the equation. These bitches ain't on my mind not one single moment of the day. Show me around. Let's look at the bedroom. OK, let's do it. It's a four bedroom, so what? each room is fully furnished. TV, mm -hmm. bed, dressers. We got okay. all the inspections. We got okay. all the carbon dioxide and alarm systems. So we got mm -hmm. everything, you know? See, Shit, I appreciate properties it. properties came on through. Coming through, we working. I think we they're going to be happy. Yeah. Today, I'm here checking out the assisted living property that Essie Marie and I have been working on. I found this property and I had my contractor, DP, to gut it and totally renovate it. So right now we just need SEM Marie to approve it. Oh my God, I love these floors. This is my thing right here. Hello. So what? Hi. Hi. Hey, hi. How you doing? Hi, Good. Hi. How you doing? Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. How you doing? This is DP. So I want you guys to look around. Y'all oh, come on, okay. get the rest okay. of the house, okay? Yeah, I gotta make a call real fast, so I'm gonna step out. Okay. okay, let me know if you need me. Okay, I will. Okay. Everything, the furnishings are all perfect. She nailed it. Let me know if you guys need me back there. Any questions? This home will be used to house individuals with an intellectual disability. For me, it's a big deal because they are entitled to receive quality care, and they shouldn't feel institutionalized or singled out because of their disability. So thank you guys for giving my contractor the chance. He's very dependable because, Miss Essie, you did see the before pictures as well. I did, and it looks nothing, nothing like, like what we saw. I was like, what are we about to do yeah. with this? I am beyond yes. pleased. Leticia is a great help being able to be the mediator between Hamilton Davis and the contractor. She's been an asset to Hamilton Davis when it comes to these properties. I'm super excited. Yay. Like, um, the goal is to um, provide more of these properties. Mm -hmm. Our long-term goal is to develop about 500 acres mm. across the state of Mississippi. Mm. That's great. Um, did you guys ever decide, will we turn this one into a male or a female home? This will be a male home. This will home. be the male home. Now, okay. I do have some women mm -hmm. who are needing to be placed in, place. in a home, mm -hmm. so we need another home for female. Well, the, it, depending on the turnover, when, how soon you guys need that, I know that DP, he, something is coming down a pipeline pretty fast. Okay. So that's something we can pencil and revisit later. So I don't want to okay. put too much on you guys right, right now, but just know that I have what you need, OK? OK. okay. All right. You guys want to look around a little more? Well, you know I want to know. The last it's, time it's it's with the, man. With the, man. You know, the last time we talked, you mm -hmm. know, I told y'all about the interview Latrice did. Mm -hmm. So did you have a conversation with her? Were you able to confront her about that? Yeah, absolutely. I confronted her. She came to the office. I called her out on everything that she was doing. I talked to her about the brunch. You were drunk. You were laughing when you should have been serious. She embarrassed you on that panel. You said, let's be clear, who the F wants a nine to five? Every single time I go to bat for you, you end up beating me with that same bat. You're not finna sit here and tear me down and tear my... You see how you say tear you down, but that's what you be doing to other people. Who have I torn up? 
you hear what I'm saying? I'm holding you accountable, and it's a problem. I think that until she's able to say that I have a problem, mm -hmm. I think it has to start with her. You tutoring her like she, like she your student? Marie, I have held her accountable, okay? So that's new to her. That's new to her. I'm not in the business of babysitting. I'm not in the business of, you know, I'm helping you over here, but you tearing me down. So you, it's time for you to stand on your own. You keep going to the back floor, and she gonna get that bat and wear your ass out every time. <laughs> Engagement is coming up at Heinz Community College, and they wanted me to do a panel. So Mel decided to hook me up with local entrepreneurs, and she invited me to come to April's Boutique, which I actually know her already. So I'm hoping that she agrees to be on this panel with me. You've always been on the scene with just like support and just everything. So, you know, Heinz Community College, they reached out to me and they wanted me to speak, you know, to their School of Cosmetology and they also wanted me to be the face of like their fashion institute. Really? Yeah, that is amazing. You're such an excellent speaker. I actually wanted to add you to the panelists because I know you've been in the industry for so long oh, and... Are you serious? Yes. That is so sweet. I'm really down for that. Yeah, we want it to be very personable. Okay. We want it to be natural. You yeah. know, we don't want anything stuffy. So okay. that's why we... Oh, my God! Hey! 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 How are you? I'm good, girl. Look at you, honey. My yes! So, you yes. know, of course, I mentioned to you about the Heinz and you possibly speaking on as one of the panelists. Yes, I told you yes. I told <laughs> yes. you yes. I'm all for it. This is like my first time really just spearheading the event, so I just wanted to sit down, like, strategize and just kind of, like, go through what we need to do, what okay. you guys feel like we need to talk about. Okay. You know, okay. definitely. Yes. yes. Okay. My speaking engagement at Heinz Community College is the definition of I made it to the top. I'm really proud of this honor because that's something that I work hard for and I've learned that from my mother. I'm super excited that my mom's gonna retire soon because I'm excited to see her just kick her feet up, relax, go to the casino and, you know, spend her allowance. So as far as the event, we want to go in and we want to be impactful. I want them to be able to ask whatever questions for those questions to actually get answered. Don't give me the YouTube version, which is what a lot of people are doing now. And I must say, like, I almost, like, didn't do this entire event. And I'm going to tell you guys why. Like, I had a conversation with Tisha. So she basically said that I ruined her brunch, right? She said that... Well, you offended people that were there. Wait, what? I said, girl! Wait, look, are I'm you serious? Girl! This was not a bougie, you know, country club style affair. I was like offense to that. Oh, I was definitely Wait, offended. I know you were offended. Why do you think she's coming for you like this? Because being at that brunch, you were the most memorable person there. Period. Yes. Mm -hmm. If anything, so that, that's just crazy that she would just blame her brunch not being together because of you. No, now that is not true. She should have focused on the logistics of her brunch, it's just not the aesthetics. Oh. So let me use the right words. At the end of the day, I do remember, you know, the food being cold. The food was cold this go round too? Well, by the time I received it, I can't speak for everyone else. Oh. But I do know that my friend did not eat her food and she was highly upset, so. So what did you walk away with? I mean, the impression that I got at the brunch out of Letitia was, whatever. Oh my God. Okay. I'm surprised to hear this about Tisha. Like, this is sounding very two-faced to me, okay? Oh, for sure. <laughs> and that's the thing about Tisha. Like, I feel like I was such a friend to, I did something that I felt like hurt Tamara. When we all went out to dinner, Tamara said that I will be in a group message with all of us except Akeisha. Everyone thinks that I'm the messy one. I mean, I may be in the middle of some things, but in this case, I'm tired of covering up for Tisha's lies. Honestly, when Akeisha first joined the collective, Tisha didn't want to be affiliated with her. 
So she was left out of the group and we were told to blame it on Tambra. Now I'm telling Tambra because anything that bothers me, I have to say something about. And this was weighing down on me. Like the whole situation about the text message. So Tisha called me and she was like, hey Trees, I'm about to run this place. And the play was, we're gonna start a group message and we're gonna leave um, Akeisha out. And we're gonna act like Tamra has something against Akeisha. Tamra to this day, like, I do apologize for that because I know how that could have made you feel. Honestly, I knew it was wrong to go along with this lie, but my loyalty to Tisha at that point was more important. So I didn't say anything, and I fought myself for that. I look, that's been on my mind, and I appreciate you finally coming to say that. I know in my mind, 99% of me said that I did not say that. So it's easier for me to walk away because I know the truth. I am actually shocked to learn more and more every day about Letitia. Like, you know, things that I thought Letitia wouldn't do, she's done. At the end of the day, you know, I do want to say this much. I see where Letitia, like her vision, I see where it's going, but like, we got to get over this cold food and serving the food late. <sighs> well, on it, no, honey. <laughs> Coming up, Retiring my mother is something that's near and dear to me. I just appreciate my mom so much, and I just want you to know that I love you. You okay, baby? I'm fine. Look, you just let that woman have her way. I'm fed up now. Disrespectful. Yeah, you gotta break away from the nipple. You got until tomorrow to let her know that she gotta go. Something I wanted to discuss with you once we got here. I invited Cliff and Latrice out to join us tonight. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Are you serious right now? We could get lost in the smoke. Feels like yeah. so weird that we are going to a baby store. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, how are y'all? Hi. Uh, Welcome in. I hope you guys find something. To we're do. really just looking because we don't know exactly what we're looking for yet. Okay. Right. Today we are here at Rotian. This is the first for both of us. Now that I am five months along, I am more confident in seeing the pregnancy through. But I want to be in, in a safer space before I actually share with other people. This is really an experience. This is an experience. This I understand. Is an experience. There's a lot to look at in here. We've got like really sweet. We call them happies, and they're just. What's that? That's a that's a pacifier. It's a pacifier. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Just that we gender call them neutral, happy. Gender okay. neutral, a lot of things. Like for your baby shower. Okay. Have you planned? I have not okay. made it that far. Oh we God. still have Don't to nobody know. Yeah. No, nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> no. Congratulations. You know. I will not tell you. Yes. I will not tell anyone, I promise. Nobody knows. I'm carrying a little extra weight these days. <laughs> so I am going to have to tell friends and family first. Pretty soon. I think that's something I can't hide much longer. I think I've been doing a pretty good job, though. So cute. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. I mean, just put stuff on the list and give it to the people, ain't that what they do? And then the people go out and bring the baby clothes and their strollers and their toys. First of all, people don't even know why we talk about a baby shower. Like, you're getting ahead of yourself. Get on the phone. Family, that's nothing you say over the phone. I can't, I can't tell my dad over the phone. <laughs> so I'm like, that's definitely not a phone conversation. I've been very cautious. Pick up the phone, call my mom. Hey, Your mom. mom is easy. So what's the hold up? I mean, yeah, but she'll good. tell everybody else, and I'm just not, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> Honestly, I was trying to wait like six months. As long as I ain't I gonna... thought about doing something with my family, something intimate like a girl's night. Just put in a group text. Oh, like, hey, I'm not doing I'm that. I'm pregnant. Oh, I'm not doing want... that. <laughs> no, that's what we need to think about. <laughs> no, that's what you need to think about, because I'm, I mean. You don't care. I don't have a preference when it comes to that. Like, this is what the, the women do. You know what I'm saying? The men, you know, we gonna smoke us a cigar, drink a little whiskey, and talk, hey man, got one on the way. 
Be here soon. Tell the truth. Have you told anyone? Uh, Tell the truth. Uh, because I have had a number of fibroid surgeries, this is a high-risk pregnancy. And it's a day-to-day -day thing. I asked my sister for medical advice. She's a nurse. It's a private matter. I don't need everyone involved. And Damon knows that. Like, he understands that it's high risk. I told my baby sister. Oh, hell no. Are you freaking serious? Yeah. Why you didn't tell me that? You actually told her? Yeah. No wonder she been liking everything I do on Facebook. We agreed to keep the news to ourselves. Just don't tell anyone. Let's keep this to ourselves. He said, okay. We said, do not tell. She ain't told anyone. Me. No, but it's the fact that I can tell you don't tell anyone and you still go I back and tell someone. I had to prep, I had to tell, I had to tell. Why? Man, look. Because now I have to watch what I tell you. Man, what? Yes. Okay, now who we did you tell? Agreed. So who did you tell? Uh uh. Oh, oh. My sister is a nurse. So for one. And my sister just had a child. No, but she's a nurse. So she's a on call sister. nurse. So that's who I've actually oh, been God. talking to See, because you she's know what? a nurse. I told my sister because I was excited. I had to tell someone. When you actually tell me that you won't tell anyone, I actually believe you. Oh. My fault. My fault. That was the only reason I told her. All I know, but now I just know, know that I have been sitting here bragging about it you're is, not telling. I, you, I, I knew thing. things were going to be safe with you, and that was a lie. I haven't even told my dad. Why you're just missing tell? the point. Okay. I wanted to so, be in a more comfortable place as far as with the baby. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm talking about it. Like, I didn't want to just, you know tell everyone, not even my own family. I just follow your lead. I deserve it, I work hard for it. Give me that, give me that Bergen bag. Give me that ticket for class. Give me designer everything. The man with a ring. Give me the Maybach with a driver so I can lay back. Give me that good health with all that good wealth. Give me that crib from the dirt up. Yeah. Today is honestly a day that I've always dreamed about. I'm retiring my mom, and the fact that I can do it today and do it in style, Latrice style, I mean, what more can a girl dream of? So maybe this will motivate her. Hopefully she takes it well. If not, oh well, you still gonna retire. Sorry, I wanna thank you so much. I know you drove a long way to get here, but we always support each other. <laughs> Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> Tamara, is, is her mom? I don't think she's out here yet. Okay. JJ's daughters and I are progressing, you know, but we still need to have that uncomfortable conversation. Instead of just like, you know, sweeping up on the rug. But I'm very confident that we can move on at some point. Here we go down. She's worked about three jobs my entire life. And certain jobs, they take advantage of people, like being misused, being overworked, being underpaid. So I do feel like she should retire. <laughs> Baby, why you didn't tell me you was coming? <laughs> <laughs> you tried to surprise me. Thank y'all for coming. Everything is beautiful. So today is all about you, Gloria. So if you would like to say any words of encouragement, now is your time. She has a big heart. She loves her children, so I think it's very special that we should be celebrating her today, even if she doesn't retire. She's worth <laughs> celebrating. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy yourself and do what Gloria wants to do. I just want to say congratulations. Enjoy, because everything that I have heard today has been nothing but love and great things. So enjoy your retirement. 
Retiring my mother is something that's near and dear to me because she's always been a hard worker and she's been a single mother. So I know what she's given to me and I want to give back to her. Oh, oh, woo. oh my God, what do you think about everything? I think everything was good and everybody had a great time. I think your mom really enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? The one thing I noticed that your friend Letitia and Glenn were here. So what happened with that? You know, she invited me to the brunch to speak at her brunch fight. Right. So, went to her office. She basically, like, ripped me to shreds. She told me I was drunk. I was cursing like a sailor. I offended people by saying, who wants to work a nine to five? So you feel like Tisha really hurt your feelings? Yeah, she did hurt my feelings because I honestly consider her as a friend. And one thing about friends, friends don't lie on each other. I want you to get along with Tisha because I really like Glenn. Glenn is a cool guy. He's a friend. He's a stand-up guy. Glenn ain't never stabbed me in the back. I know, but one thing about it I do know is husband and wife, they're the same. So Glenn pretty much is like Tisha. So you just have to be careful with that. I think that. Glenn pretty cool. Y'all not talking to me. Glenn can still talk. Because Glenn not going to be against you. And I, you know, whatever. Okay. I'm tired of talking about that. Well, I'm going to take you out to dinner. We're, we're going to get over this stuff and really enjoy ourselves. Okay? Uh, we, I'm going to think about it. I consider myself a loyal person. And one thing about Tisha, she knows 100% that I've been loyal to her since day one. Even when she crossed me, I was still loyal. My feelings aren't easily hurt. But Letitia lying on me hurt me to the core. We had a tough childhood, and we know that she was a single parent, and she worked her ass off to make sure that we had everything that we needed. You know, I can remember a time when I graduated college and I didn't have any money to get a robe. She literally cashed her car in for me to look beautiful for my graduation. And <laughs> I just appreciate my mom so much, and I just want you to know that I love you for everything that you've ever done for us. So, I have another surprise for you because I want you to live out your hot girl oh, a surprise. gear. Okay. You can get you a little side piece. Uh -huh. and what? what? We got a vacation, all paid vacation for two to Vegas. <laughs> because we love you so freaking much. She deserves the world. I can't give her what all she deserves because it's unlimited. Like, my mom is my world. Glasses up, toast to Gloria Day of Retirement. 50 years of working is now coming to the end. Drink, drink, drink! Coming up, Tisha, she basically said that I ruined her brunch. She was like, um, I came drunk. Tisha made me feel really small. I invited Cliff and Latrice out to join us tonight. You serious? What you waiting on your water? I'm an alcoholic beverage. I'm an alcoholic, honey. Jacksonian chose me. Thank you guys so much. How are you? I'm doing I'm good. This is nice Dorian. This is the man with the plan right here. Right. This like is the you. director. He'll be interviewing you today and he'll give you the rundown on everything we're gonna do today. Okay. The Jacksonians chose me because I'm actually in the city of Jackson. I have motion in the city. I do things in the city of Jackson. I have a business in the city of Jackson. Unlike my co-workers, you know, at the end of the day. I actually make a difference in Jackson. So I remember being in Jackson when you, you started the vending machine. Just how, how impactful has that been for you? <laughs> it was just like, I don't know. I don't want to say instant. Who am I looking at? I'm sorry. I look at the camera. Just look, look at the, the camera. camera. Okay. okay. When you reach a certain level of success in Jackson, they always ask, why don't you leave? Jackson is what made me. And to me, that's more of the reason to stay. You know, of course, I don't actually stay in Jackson. Once you became a TV star, has, has things changed much, like people's perception of you? With me on the show, a lot of the girls, they'll take simple things that I do and they'll make it bigger than what it is. And they've done way worse and said a way lot more to me. You know, it's kind of like it's cool when they do it. It's why I want, yeah. 
one of them. I'm sure that Letitia's gonna hold me accountable for this interview too, but I don't give a because I told the truth. Since your uh, Forbes article in 2021, how far have you came as a woman and a business lady as well? Since Forbes, I think for me, people paid a lot more attention to what I was actually doing because it's like, who is this girl from Mississippi? This girl that actually sells hair because we look at doctors and lawyers and think that this is the ideal of, you know, the American dream when it's not. You know, the American dream to me is whatever you make it. I put hair entrepreneurship on the map, you know, because a lot of people do it, but a lot of people don't do it effectively. So what are some ways that you help out in the community for black women who you know, want to be entrepreneurs and just trying to really just make it. I have a mentorship program and, you know, we sit, we talk. I don't feel like I should hide information, especially when it's somebody that looks like me. Like, whatever you want to know, if I don't know the answer, I'm going to go find the answer. And I'm going to help you, you know, because nobody helped me. And I knew how that felt. Thank you so much. Now what's going to happen is Blue right here, she's going to take you out there, do your photo shoot, and that'll be it. I enjoyed the interview. Thank you, I did too. I'm normally on top of my game when it comes to doing interviews, but today is just not the day. Now, I do have a photo shoot next. That's where I shine. So how do y'all think I did? You, you did good. You started little, off kind of like, worried. yeah, you started beginning. off real, real <laughs> stiff and timid. You got, you got but, situated out of nowhere. Yeah. Them conversations. Yeah, you can tell you on edge about a few things, but um, yes. <laughs> you calmed it on down. I was definitely on edge because, you know, of course, I had a conversation with Tisha. She basically said that I ruined her brunch. I still have this Letitia thing in my head. She made me feel small and like I was the problem when I know for a fact that it wasn't me. She was like, um, I came drunk and it's just had a major effect on the entire interview. And I'm like, girl, how did you notice that I was drunk when I didn't even drink? Hey, mom. Bitch, I'm, I'm tipsy. Oh, <laughs> and then she goes in to say that I offended a lot of people. Listen, I have two people trying to book me from your event. So if I offended people at your event, nobody will be trying to book me. And when I say that hurt so much, because then she said, like, I feel like I'm trying to build you up for you to tear me down. So, for one, we're not even on the same level. But yeah. do you want to talk to her, though? Like, to I, think, I, think, a, I think they need to have a conversation. Just because to clear it. It. No, because I sat there for minutes, let her beat me down, tear me down. But Look, that's was, why I had to ask him on camera, honey. Was I drunk? Somebody that you was calling Your friend. friend. That's she like, deserves a conversation. Oh, yeah, she, she deserves a conversation. Listen. Period. I honestly wanted to look at Letitia like she was a big sister. Because when I go to her, I feel like she gives genuine advice and that she actually loved me. But the things that she's been doing lately, it tells another story. Anyways, let's go ahead and knock out this shoot shoe. and call it a day. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling like a million bucks all one. Only right we shake it, then we throw it, then we throw it. We ain't got no liquor left all done. Hey, how are you? What's your day gonna be like? I don't know. You got my coffee ready? Well, you know I got to have coffee first thing in the morning when well, I, I get don't, up. I didn't, I didn't do any coffee this morning, Mama. No. Why? I'm you know, that's the first thing I have in the morning time. That's the way I get my day started. It's been horrible living with my mother-in-law. I'm a Jack J. You know, Gucci has had it up to here. If I stray something up, put a magazine here, I come home and a magazine there. If I put a coaster here, she put it there. I'm just fed up and it's it's time for her to go. You're supposed to have my coffee ready or eat a half and all the time. What is y'all trying to pay the light bill? I'm trying to shit. I can't I can't even pay the girl light bill. I got it for when she can't. Would it be so hard, baby, just to leave the percolator out? Things do. I don't have time to make sure mama percolator. I gotta make sure dad get out in the morning. I gotta make sure the percolator. I gotta do call my clients. I gotta expect. I don't, it's not on my to, to do list to leave this a percolator. Is 2023. I am trying to go into the new year right. And y'all around here like, 
like chickens got done in the dogs at each other. You ever seen two dogs got done at each other? <laughs> and then you raise it up, got done the fence, and then they stop. That's how the ears got done it. They sitting there at each other's throat like got done it like some wild hens. It's a disaster. That's well, true. I got to say, a happy husband, a happy wife. Everything. She, she brings in, in the money. Yeah, but you the man. You the man. Yeah, I She's am supposed the man. to do what you said, not you do what she said. My mama is so Gucci done been in so many arguments. It's just like, that's a part of what's supposed to go on in the day. Can we all just get along? Rodney King ain't the only one can say that. When the last exactly. time you redid things in here? What with all this white? Well, mama, I'm It ain't got no kind of color. Look. What you doing? Uh-uh, I'm going to Uh-uh, what you doing? Uh-uh, we well, come on now. No, 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 that's for day. I know. If you don't mind, please leave my plastic on this carpet because we got a little doggy named Dez. I won't be up here, so you don't have to worry about me and this plastic down here because I might trip anyway. Jay, I'm fed up now. Yeah. I'm, I'm fed. Mom. You're going to have to do something about it. You no. need to do something about it today. On, Look, you just let that woman have her way. Her Jane, no, listen no, to me. No, She's been talking no. long enough. We need to handle something without mom being Look, here. Look, I'm disrespectful. Mom, really? Baby, you, we got to do something. It's, it's her, not me. So don't sit here and point the fingers at me. She the one barged in on our little happy life. She got to go. Jay is always breaking me and, and his mom up. And, and it's not fair, Jay, that every time I have a spat with your mom that you take her side. I don't know. It's just like, you got you to break away, Jay. You got to break away from the nipple. Mama going to have to go. I don't know how you going to tell her, when you going to tell her, but you know what? You got until tomorrow to let her know that she got to go because I'm fed up with this. How you going to put me in that position? Because you the one brought in here and you the one going to fix it. And I'm out of here. And I mean this. God damn this. Everybody want to slam doors in this mom. You okay, mom? Are you okay? I'm good, I'm good. I don't want you put in this situation, and you don't have to worry about kicking me out because I know that's a tough decision for you. I'm gonna leave myself, okay? Please. I don't want you to go. Well, you have to work that out with your so-called wife. I want her to go, but I don't want her to go. You know, if she leave, don't leave that way. Don't nobody want their mama to leave mad, at least not me. I'm not going to be living in this trauma. See that? I know. We all we got, buddy. She holding my hand, don't you think? Holding her feet. Something wrong with you holding my hand? Why are you walking so fast? I'm a fast walker. You hungry? <laughs> so tonight, Glenn and I are going on a date. Yes, we are married, but we are dating, and it feels great. Hi. Hello. I need him to understand me. I need to understand him, and we're going to have a good time. So I'm excited about this one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. No, so have you understand. ever been here? Because I haven't. No, I haven't been here. This is something I wanted to experience new with you, new memories, new restaurants. Salty okay. Tiger? What is in the Salty Tiger? Yeah. I think I'm going to try the oxtail meal. Something I wanted to discuss with you once we got here. I invited Cliff and Latrice out to join us tonight. What? You serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Oh, hell no. Oh, what, what, you, what, what are you doing? Why would you do that? What's wrong with that? We double dated with them before. I didn't, I didn't think it was an issue. Are you serious right now? Leticia and Latrice are not getting along. And I mean, let's face it, I want to I wanna hang out with my, with my friend, Cliff. So I took it upon myself, because I'm such a great guy. I, you know, I invited him out to this date. Like, me and Latrice not where we hadn't had a conversation in a 
in a minute. Like, that's, we're not, she's not my fave right now. If we're gonna double date, you just start letting me know. Hell, you barely on a date. I mean, I know you and Cliff have this whatever going on, but you can't force relationship with child him going on. I'm taking advice from the therapist. He said, do more couple things with married couples. So this is, are they not married? This is, this, this is a date. I'm back at home with Zaddy, and things are honestly getting better. But me and my husband haven't been on a successful date in a while. Every time we go on a date, it's either we're bickering back and forth because I'm too busy or I'm not doing something that he actually likes. So I'm hoping that it goes well because it's been a minute. No one controls my energy. No one controls my mood. No one controls my mind. I control my energy. I control the environment around me. So tonight is going to be a great night. What's up, man? What's going on? Hey. Hey, What's up, man? Glad you can make it. What's going on? It's Latrice. How you doing, Tree Tree? Glad to see you. I like how y'all match me. Y'all look nice. The Rogers mm, is showing up. Give a little. Give a little. Well, I'm glad uh, to see Glenn didn't even tell me about the dinner. Girl, my husband didn't tell me either. <laughs> I mean, look, y'all I thought joined. It was, it was date night. That's this what is date, date night. night. <laughs> That's the same thing I said. It's but not a, a, a group date night, mm -hmm. but a date night. What's? It's still a date night? It's a date night. It's night and it's a date. Have we not been on dates before? That's all I'm saying. I honestly don't appreciate my husband sneaking behind my back, conspiring with Glendale to bring me and Tisha together. Anytime I do something, it's an issue. And when you do it, it's okay because you feel like it's the best of your interests or the best for me. I know what's best for me. And at this moment, it's not Tisha in my sight. Well, thank you for inviting us, Glendale. I'm glad y'all could join. <laughs> Glendale is. Y'all acting really weird. No, right you've been acting weird all day. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into that. Glenn's issue is he wants to hang out with his BFF Cliff. And he knows that if Latrice and I are at odds, it won't work in their favor. So I'm wondering if this date was for Leticia and Latrice, or if this date was for Cliff and Glenn. It was for the collective. Well, my husband did say Glenn loves him more than I do. And that's exactly what he said I to said, me. What? We look out for each other. Right, Glenn and looks out for me better than you. The same thing here. Yeah. Well, it's because maybe if you guys would just take into consideration a little bit more of what we think and what we go through. Right. Well, y'all don't go through no, well, We just don't go through a, a menstrual cycle. We going through everything here. Everything else. Everything. But maybe that's everything because y'all bringing that on yourselves. I need a drink. <laughs> Still it's my one. second one. <laughs> second one. Yes. It's becoming too much for me. And for me as well, like, when it comes to spouses, like, if you guys feel like somebody loves you more than your own spouse, then that's an issue. I think that at the end of the day, I really think that maybe whatever when y'all have y'all conversations, maybe you guys have to start looking into the inside and see what's really triggering the insecurities. I ain't got no insecurity. I'm not insecure. I'm perfectly secure. Cliff and Glenn's relationship is based on shared insecurities of them losing their wives. I'm tired of this weak-ass bromance, and I damn sure don't appreciate being forced to have a night out with the Rogers. Sometimes you don't know you're insecure. It's kind of like a subconscious thing. Look, I can definitely admit when I'm wrong. Mm. So that's just what it is. Mm. I don't have an issue. I mean, you know what I've gone through at my brunches, how people use my brunch as a laughing stop. People will try to find a speck on a plate to tarnish my brand. One thing that Glenn and Latrice have in common is they both have a habit of letting me down when I need them the most. I'm just gonna be honest. Glenn is learning from you and it's not good. It's cute. Yes. I don't know what you've done, but you gotta undo it. 
<laughs> do what? I just give knowledge. No, this is not the same person from two from last year. You're and he thinks a talk. Right. Neither are you, right. Right, right. No one stay. She just said it's changed not good. Maybe we should go to the bar. They, I think they need to talk about you know, I'll still. What are you about plate? What cliff have? You taking your plate? I'm fine. I'm sorry, I need to my... you, you don't trust your food with your I'm wife? My... Yeah, I said this is real cute. This is. I was cool when all four of us was at the table, but you leave me here with Letitia Pearson? This is not about to be pretty. What you waiting on your water? Yes. So, well, you yeah. know, my alcoholic beverage. I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. Honey, apparently. But, you, but, you are, but I drink too. It's not the point of what we drink. Mm -hmm. I drink, I get drunk. Mm -hmm. It's a where and when. We're not empowering. Bartender. Next on Bell Collective. As far as like offending people, if I said, who wants to work a nine to five? You just said something that you should not have said. Every time I have a conversation with her, she wants me to believe what she says. And what you said is bullshit. Marie and Letitia, they were trying to form an alliance against you. They used me as ammunition at the end of the day. Because I said that her brunch was trash? I had no idea. Tonight is the night. I am launching my book. I am sharing the most vulnerable part of me. I feel a little bit of fear, but I'm excited. I got something that I really want to show my love. Yo, DJ, let's take it back to 98. You heard me? I don't know why my husband is up here right now with this mic. Lord, if this man brings a stripper out at my event, oh, it's a wrap. Let's go. Let's get it.